Congratulations. Thank you. You had to come back from 2-0 down against a man who just makes his quarterfinals here. That's what he does. I mean, that's a heck of a comeback. Yeah, it is. Like I say, uh, I, I always, you know, I, I didn't play bad from the very start. But like I said, again, it was like, um, he was always on top of me, even though I played well. But I keep telling myself, I said, you know, I mean, things might change, you know, if I, if I keep pressing and pressing. And hopefully that um, uh, by putting a bit more pressure on, on, on him, uh, you, you never know, you know. So I always believe that uh, you, it's never over till the, you hit the finish line, you know. So never give up anyway. So Even with all your vast experience, did seem to get very nervy, the pair of you in that deciding set. Yep, it is. Especially that, uh, that, that that leg of the last set. Yeah, it was tough, actually. In fact, uh, uh, I, I think it was the back of our mind, you know. I, like, either way, what he's thinking, I really do not know. But in my mind, I was thinking, thinking I, was, I need to win this leg because I'm going first. I'm going first on the next leg. And when, but if I lose that leg, the most I can do is to fight the next leg and then you go to the last leg, which he's going to go first. <laughs> So I tell myself, I say, come on, dig deep, you know, and, then, and the, the dig, <laughs> it's almost like a quicksand. I mean, the more I try, you know, the harder, I mean, I'm just keep sinking in, you know, so, but eventually I got through, I'm glad, you know. You know, I, I wouldn't even look at him, I, I was watching the screen on the double one, it was big, and, it was, and I would look at the, the, the double one up there, I said, damn, that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> but he, but he, he, uh, he missed on the outside and he got it inside, but uh, I'm glad I got through. This William Hill World Championship is your 25th World Championship campaign and yet yeah. the preparation for it has been like none of the others. No Asia Tour, difficult to, to move around, it missed out on the World Cup and yet you can still come here and perform. Uh, I, I think that come probably because of experience too and, and furthermore right I think this whole one year, one year, this year period I think being home more uh, at home most of the time because we don't really go out a lot now because of the not, not really lockdown but but uh, we were always advised by the company not to go out as much as we want to you know so uh, we stay home more and I think I play a lot I think I play more darts than ever so I think that helped a little bit because uh, I think at the end of the day when you practice by yourself it's a matter of how you practice and how you give confidence to yourself of exactly what you, you you can perform. So I always say that if I can bring my performance at, at least, you know, to what I've been practicing down to the pra to the, the tournament board, uh, I might have a chance. That's what I feel anyway, you know. Uh, probably a new experience for you as well, playing with no crowd in this sort of hastily set up TV. I imagine there were crowd. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, no, no. I, I, I think uh, I've always loved the crowd. I always do, you know. I think the crowd always plays a part where it's going to really help you or it's going to destroy you you know but i i think for some people it's it's different they feed on that on, on that vibe vibe you know uh i do sometimes but then again you know it's uh i, I miss that i really do you're going to take on dimitri vandenberg uh in the next round he has catapulted himself into the elite this year by winning the world match play you know him from way back don't you yes yes in fact, I know him very well. Actually, in fact, uh, we we uh, we have good uh, what should you say? Good vibes about each other, friends. You know, uh, there, there, I mean, there's some dart players out there. I mean, uh, which I don't really talk much to. I think maybe they don't, don't want to talk to me. I don't know. But uh, but with Dimitri, he has always been very polite. You know, and I like the guy because I think he's a friendly guy. You know, but but then again, uh, I, I really uh, uh, I should say that I take my hats off to him for. Such a short period of time, he's actually jumped to the top and, and did really that well. Uh, so my aim next is to try to put a stop to that. Hopefully, <laughs> I could anyway, you know. Uh, but but whatever it is, I just want to put on a good show, put on a good game, and hopefully that uh, uh, the victory becomes mine anyway, you know. So you managed that tonight. What played for? Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Thank you very. Much.